My name is Amanda Mahan. I'm the director of training here at Oxygen Forensics, and I have two other instructors here with me, Ryan Ebersole and Jordan Portfleet, and they're going to be doing one of the extractions each. So we're going to start with Mega, then we're going to roll into Facebook, and then we're going to roll into Dropbox, and we're going to show you all three of these extractions, and we're going to try to do this in a pretty quick fashion. So I'm going to start with Mega. And the first thing we're going to do is open our detective screen and we're going to open up our cloud extractor here. And we're going to go ahead and start a new extraction. It's going to keep it simple and click next. And I'm going to choose Mega. And as you can see, we have a lot of platforms that we can choose from if we need them. There are over a hundred platforms now. So let's add our credentials to Mega. All right, so we have our credentials in and I'm going to apply this. We have the one next to the mega, so that's looking good. We're gonna go down to the bottom right and click next. And the next thing we're gonna do is validate. If you don't have validation on automatically, which you can choose down here, validate credentials automatically, then you can come over and validate it yourself. Now, once you get this green check mark, you have unlocked the door to that mega account. Then we can click next. And if you look over in the right hand section, you see all of the categories that we can extract from. We can put a date range filter on it if we need to. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna pull all data because maybe Dolly gave me, inform gave me permission to grab all data. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click next and you can see it start to pull data. You can read the logs. What is it going into? What kind of information is it currently pulling? Okay, now we have finished. That was fast, right? So we're gonna go ahead and click next. And when you do that, it's gonna tell you exactly what was pulled from that cloud account. So if you look over in the right-hand section, your extraction summary, you see all of the numbers next to the categories. And the next thing we're going to do is we wanna pull this over into Detective to be parsed. So let's click next. We want to open this in Detective. We want it to be parsed. We wanna see it pretty on a screen when we click Images, we want to see the images, right? So that's what we're going to do. And it's pulling in the OCB backup. Now we are looking at that cloud backup. If you look in the left-hand section, you'll see the same numbers pop up. Actually, a little more because you have your extraction logs as well. Let's start with the application and the data that it collects. And one of the things that's super important to show you is, yes, it does pull the data that has been deleted in mega. So that's a big deal. You will be able to pull that data. So we can look at our accounts and passwords. We can look at all of the contacts inside of the device. We can see all of their messaging. If you weren't aware, yes, you can message each other in mega. And you can share data. You can share media, files, folders. And let's go into our file section. And you can now look at each of these tabs, all of your images, any audio, video. We can run image categorization on this data set. We could also run facial recognition on it. And we could even run OCR if we don't have the time to read through all of the text data on the images. And then in our facial recognition, it will even do the comic book strip. If we navigate back to our extraction information, we look under our analytics screen and we go into our social graph. We will be able to see everyone this account has been talking to, even the group chats. And if you click your view dropdown, put your communications pane on, you can even show this in a, com a contact card, which will give you all of the communications and even put it in chat format. So the next extraction we're gonna do is with Facebook. So this will be Ryan's turn to shine. So Ryan, here you go. Hey detectives, it's Ryan here. So I'm going to go over downloading cloud data from Facebook. So from our new extraction window, we're going to keep the information generic here, but of course you can fill out any additional information as needed. I have my owner's name. I'm going to click next. I'm going to go ahead and type Facebook in the top right corner search bar. And it's going to pull the Facebook icon right on up. I select that and now let's add our credentials. Once we've added our credentials, we click apply. And now the number one shown next to the Facebook icon is indicative that our credentials are added. We select the icon and now let's go next and validate as before. Once validated, we make sure that our correct service is checked. We go to next and now here is going to look a little bit different because there's contacts 
posts, and communities that show here as well. These aren't selected by default because their selection, depending on how big your Facebook following is, that data could get extensive. So for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and leave those unchecked for now. We're going to go ahead and put our date range in here from about a month and a half ago up to today's date. Click Next. And as seen before, it's going to go through that entire log and show you the process step by step as it's extracting the data. We have our loading bar here to show us a percentage complete. And if you need to stop the download at any point, you can do so here as well. Now that our extraction is complete, I want to view this in Forensic Detective. We click Next and open Extracted Data in Oxygen Forensic Detective. It will automatically import into Detective, and now we can view that backup. We have the same data that we'd normally see, depending on what was able to pull. We have some application data, uh, which that should be Facebook, as we see. Okay, go back to our extraction info. We have accounts and passwords. We have extraction logs, any contacts associated with Facebook. And of these contacts, what we can do is view them in the social graph to see the types of communication that our individual, Connor, has had with uh, their contacts within Facebook. We can see our statistical information as well here from last contacted, top 10 contacts, top 10 applications, and so on. If we look over here in our column one under applications, if we click on Facebook, we can see the different types of data as Amanda showed us before with Mega, the same represented here for what was pulled from Facebook. We can see the conversation contacts. We can look at any attachments, any chat information, we could view specific files that were sent if available. We could view timeline or social graph events, any private messages. We can view them in a chat view. Then we go back to our extraction information. We can report on this information just the same as we usually would. Our little export data icon here, and we can create a report based specifically on our cloud extraction of Facebook data. That in a nutshell is how we extract data for uh, Facebook from the cloud. Thanks, Ryan. Next up, Jordan will be demonstrating the Dropbox cloud extraction for us. Thank you. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use Oxygen Forensic Cloud Extractor to conduct an extraction on Dropbox. So it's going to look very similar to Amanda and Ryan's extraction. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So I have my Oxygen Forensic Cloud Extractor open here. What I'm going to do is select new extraction and I'm going to provide the owner's name that's going to be Forensic Dolly. I'll select next. So I'm going to go ahead and select Dropbox and then add credentials. Again, I'm going to add the username and password and I'm going to select apply. Okay, I have the number one right next to Dropbox, so that means I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and select next. And in the options earlier, I had selected to validate credentials automatically. And as you can see, my credentials have been validated. So I'm going to select next. Ryan did a great job of showing you how to adjust the date range. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it the way it is so we can pull everything. And I'm going to select next. Okay, so it's doing its thing. It's just going to take a minute to finish. Okay, my download is completed. I'm going to select next. As you can see here, our extraction is finished. I'm going to select Next. And what I want to do is open extracted data in Oxygen Forensic Detective. So I'll select that. It should just take a few minutes to upload. Okay, so our import is ready. I'm going to open my extraction. Let's take a look at some of our results. So we were able to pull accounts and passwords as well as a token. We do have uh, some contacts here, Dolly Fitzgerald. That email should look pretty familiar. There's a extraction log here. It's pretty detailed every step that Oxygen took. 197 files, all different types. We pulled lots of images. And we'll select all data for Dropbox. This is going to show us everything she's uploaded into Dropbox. So that was a quick look on how to use the Oxygen Forensic Cloud Extractor to conduct a cloud extraction on Dropbox.